Hi, I'm Micah Woods. This is a special tournament edition of Cart Rides with Micah. I'm here with Bernardo Almeida. Hello. You are from two courses in Portugal, aren't you? Yes, yes, two courses, uh, very near Lisbon, about, um, well, about one hour less than one hour, for north, north of Lisbon, north of Lisbon. So yeah, one young course and a course that uh, has almost 30, 30 years old. Okay, so West Cliffs is a course that has won a lot of new best new course awards, yes, if yes. I remember right, and yeah, that's the new a, one. Yeah, it's an excellent layout that we, I've been fortunate to, to begin working there before the opening. And uh, yes, it's a beautiful course. It has now four years, four years, yes, uh, almost five. And, um, and the other course, it's uh, also a very good one. It's, I think it's well known, it's Praia del Rey and uh, near Óbidos, Portugal, and um, it has almost 29 years old, if I'm not mistaken, yes. All right, well, you're here at PGA Catalunya for a couple days, and you've been helping me collect some data on the greens, yeah. and uh, I wanted to have a chance to talk with you and record some of the work that you've been doing. Having a de We've been talking about this stuff, and I thought other yes. people might be interested, too, um, to hear about that before you head home tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, MLSN is something that I use in the last, uh, I think, um, seven years, yeah, seven, eight years, before working in Westcliffs and, and Praia del Rey. And uh, it's something that makes sense to me. And uh, we, we have been, been excellent results. Uh, and, and the feedback is, is very good. So uh, it's something that every year or month by month we should adjust, but it's something that it's working very well, yes. I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in the hydrogen peroxide applications that you're making to the greens, which you do at West Cliffs and at Praia del Rey, don't you? Yes, we, we, we do it in the last uh, three years and a half. We do it in, um, in Praia del Rey, yes, and, uh, and in West Cliffs. We, we began at the, same, at, the same, at the same time because it's the same company, so we thought a few weeks, a few, maybe two months about doing it or, or not. And um, the pros and, 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 the, and the, thing, the bad things and, and the good things. And one of the things that let, let us to try is we don't have nothing to lose. If we think we can, we can be better, better results on short, medium and long terms, why can we not try it? And then if it doesn't work good, if the information and the results are not good, we can always go back, so. And now for three years, right? Yeah, maybe a little more. And what have the results been like? Well, we, we in, in the first year, we did analysis every three months in organic matter at eight centimeters average, taking a little bit of the, of the, of the of the plant, of the leaves on top. And then we, we did nutrients, we did all the, all the normal, all normal parameters of the soil, and um, every, every three months. And it's interesting because the two courses, one of them has almost 30 years, 29, yes, and the other is four years and a half. And, um, and yes, the results in the, old, in the oldest course, in the old course, where in six weeks the organic matter um, decreases almost half in six weeks, and it was it was high because we felt that we are getting the water takes a, lo a lot of time to infiltrate when it rains a little more. Also, the firmness was not good, uh, and also a lot of diseases, especially dollar spot and, and fusari in the winter. So um, this was the, the short-term results, and more firmness almost two months after, much more firm the greens on, on, on the oldest course. Then um, on the newest course on Westcliffs, we had a, a big problem with pitium root and um, pitium pitium root rot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we and we find out that um, uh, just by doing. Uh, in university analysis of the fungus, we got immediate results of, of the fungus being killed by the hydrogen peroxide. 
and the two years before we did it fungicides, we did it also uh, trichodermis, so we did it and the best nutrition we can think about at that time and hydrogen peroxide seemed to decrease a lot uh, pitium root rot, yes. Okay. So this, these were the short-term results. And what have the members who play there, what do they notice about this? Have they done like, because you've been talking about some data and some uh, things that maybe a greenkeeper cares about, but the golfers just want to play. Yeah. What are they noticing? Well, uh, so we started uh, in 2018, yes, uh, I don't know the exact data by heart. And um, I think just a few months after, um, because hydrogen peroxide also is, uh, and we are measuring this now with uh, OM246 also now in the last year. So maybe at the, at the end of this year we got uh, more conclusive results. But uh, what they felt, what the clients and the players felt, was that the greens were, because then we, we felt no need in edification. So what they felt along the, the next months was much more consistency in um, green surface, in quality, in trueness, in firmness, in speed. So things are going good all day all day of the months and all the months so much more consistent greens in quality and 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 also they they um so they, they were very happy also the members were very happy they even they even um went and uh, talked with all the maintenance team saying they they never saw the greens so good and um so in terms of the of the client perspective things are, are, are in the last three years I think, and we have members with more than 20 years knowing the course, it, it's, it's very, very good. Wow, that's quite impressive. You think the bauble test might be better called the trueness test, and yeah. I think um, that's something that actually it is, I think, called the STRI trueness test, might actually be the proper name for it, yeah. but I sometimes just call it the bauble test out of habit. And another thing, um, is it subjective? Like, we did this together on a number of roles. I thought we were pretty good at getting a similar score, yeah. um, especially when we take the three balls together. Yeah. Um, so you might have rolled, considered one to be an eight. I might think it's a nine, but the next one we might flip. Yeah. So um, I, I was pleased with the objectivity of that. Yes, I think so. Normally our our, some of the three numbers are, are very nearby. So yes, I think as we do six bubble tests per steep meter measurement, and we can do easily three per green uh, once a week in the most representative greens, it's quick and it, it seems to match. Uh, it seems not to be so subjective as I thought, yes. I was just watching the golf. Yeah. This is a special tournament edition of Cart Rides with Micah and there's some play going on that we are now approaching. We've been working together with some data collection the last couple of days. Have you noticed anything interesting or uh, any measurements that you might try back at West Cliffs and Praia del Rey? Yeah, it's a good question. I think I, w I, w I will start because normally we try to measure the greens once a week in terms of speed and, and also uh, we try to feel the firmness. So I think I will try to use as often as I can, the true firm, to have an idea where we are and when we should be, to have the, the, the good surface all year long. And also the bubble test. The bubble test seems uh, quick to do. So I, I think we can spend like between one, one hour and two hours per week and have those three tests made in five, six screens that, that can be representative of, of all the golf course and then, and then and then I think we'll have a clear idea of what, why, what, what we are doing, what's the impact we have on, this, on these three important values. I, I think these three are quick to do and, and important. I think, so I will start the true firm and I will start the, um, the bubble test. And you'll also do the stint meter. Well, that, that we always do. And normally I, 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 we send, we share the, the speed of the greens and also we share the, um, 
the quality of the putting, but we don't give um, a number to it. So I think it's important to try to give a number to the quality of the trajectory of the ball in the putting. So I think I think it's important to give a number so we can we can we can see what we are doing, what happens to the greens. Yeah, I'm 187 centimeters. And we still managed to fit in this uh, <laughs> selfie pretty good. You're, yeah. you're not too short yourself. One, no, 170. I, I, I like to believe I'm the average man guy in Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Well, so. thank you so much, Bernardo, for joining me well, on this episode. You. And uh, I'll see you in November, I guess. Yeah, I will see you for sure. Thank oh. you very much. Okay, thank you.